Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a Call of Duty inspired map animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. Metal Zero One, this is Overlord Actual. You are being rerouted for Hamburg. We've got a principal level hostage rescue. Who is it? The Vice President. Alright, so to get started, you need to import your map image. In my case, I'm going to use an image of a video game called Players Unknown Battlegrounds. Uh, so this is the map that I'll be using. And I'm also going to be using an image texture so that we have a, a little bit of texture in our image. Um, so let's just rename this uh, node over here. So I'm just going to rename this to map. And this one over here, if we view this, is our texture. So I'm going to rename it to texture. All right, so I'm going to combine these two together. This will result in a merge node. And if we take a look at this merge node, this is how it is going to look. I'm going to right click on the merge and click on swap inputs. Also, there's a shortcut key for it, control T. And uh, it should still be 1920 into 1023. And then in the merge, in the inspector over here, I'm going to set the apply mode to multiply. And now you can see we have some kind of texture in our map over here. So if I just turn it off and on, you can see the texture over there. You can add in a brightness and contrast node to the texture. And if we play around with the sliders over here, we can get more out of that texture. All right, so you can play around with these sliders, but I think that looks fine. So I'm going to leave it as it is. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag in a background node. I'm going to connect it up with this merge. And if we take a look at this merge too, this is how it is going to look. So I'm going to try and create a little bit of uh, shadows on the map. So these will be shadows that will be casted uh, because of the environment around the scene. So I'm going to try and fake that using this uh, background node. So on this background node, we are going to add in a, a polygon mask to this, like so. And on this polygon mask, we can just start creating or drawing our shape. So I'm going to create a pretty random uh, shape like so. And uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to try and create sort of a rack shadow coming on from the right side of the image. So something like that. All right. So uh, then we can go to the polygon in the inspector. We're going to increase the soft edge quite a bit and we are also going to reduce the level like so and now if we click away you can see that we have these nice shadows in our map texture which is what we want all right now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our map travel animation so pretty simple we can just use a background node for that connect it up with this merge and we're going to again use the polygon mask so just drag that in and connect it up with this background all right so uh, then we can just draw in our shape on any of these paths we have on the map so i'm going to go from this building uh, school to pochinki so let's just create a path on it so let's start over here and just draw your shape finish it up over here then we can just edit this so just click on any of these points and you can just uh, get these handles where you can edit them and uh, move them in any shape or form so i'm just going to do this pretty quick and I'm, I'm just going to show you how it is done but uh you should just take your time with this and do it as uh, precisely as you can all right so i'm kind of happy with that so let's just move ahead i'm going to uncheck solid and i'm going to increase the border width yeah we have to view this merge three then you'll be able to see your border width over here so just just reduce that something like that and uh, as you can see it's not in the center so just bring that in on the path over here reduce the width border width and just try and position it correctly like so kind of happy with that all right moving ahead what we are going to do is we're going to move our playhead to the very first frame and uh, we're going to set the length to zero create a keyframe over there and move to the very last frame and set the length to the maximum value which is one so if we take a look at the animation now We'll have a line which is animating and that is what we want all right so the next thing we're going to do is after this merge 3 we are going to add in an image plane 3d we're going to take all of this and uh, take it into a 3d viewport like so and after this image 3d we are going to add in a camera 3d so let's search for camera and click on add 
this should add in a merge as well and after this merge 3d we are going to add in a renderer 3d click on add all right so now we can take this camera 3d click on it and you can just push it back into the z space and if we take a look at our renderer 3d this is how it is going to look again go to your camera 3d go to transform and you can see the uh, z positioning over here just drag it back into the z space and this is how it should look now we can we take a look at our most 3d this is how the camera is looking at our image and that's pretty fine what we can do next is uh, we can animate our camera so let's just click on that go to transform and uh, let's actually go to the 3d render 3d view uh, again in the camera 3d click on it and we can just uh, rotate x and y axes so let's just uh, do that so i'm going to start with x axis over here and let's rotate it and i'm going to change its position so that we get it back it's kind of difficult to see it like this so if i go to my merge 3d or you can even split the view so let's just click on this icon to split the view and i'm going to take a look at render 3d on the right and merge 3d on the left all right so you can see the camera is looking in that direction i want it to look on the image itself so again go to camera 3d and we can just change the positioning of the camera bring it down like so and you can see that how easy it is to maneuver your camera when you have these uh, split views and you can just zoom into this again change the positioning like so and uh, create a cool camera angle so i'm going to start from the top over here somewhere over here and we can just zoom into this a little bit all right so maybe start right over here and i can create keyframes on the translation group so i'm going to right click in this group and click on animate translate group just make sure that your playhead is at the very first frame so right click animate translate group and i'm going to also animate the rotation groups so right click animate rotate group go to the last frame and change the position so we can play around with the position and you can change the x position the y position and the z position as well all right something like that and if you take a look at your animation this is how it is going to look now what we can do is we can add more elements to our scene we can add a text we can add a shape elements as well so let's just do that uh, it's just spacebar and type in s star click on add and if we take a look at it you won't be able to see anything and that's because we need another node to view this which is s render click on add and if we take a look at s render this is what we will have so go to s star and set the points to five and uh, you can see that it's not properly in the center so in the angle i'm going to set this to 18 which will bring it in the center so let's just reduce the depth as well so we have a star shape like this and now you can add it to your 3d map so what we can do is after this s render we will add another image plane 3d click on add and uh, we will combine it with this merge 3d and if we take a look at merge 3d you can see that we have that star shape over here and uh, all you have to do is mess around in the image plane 3d of your s render all right so let's just go to transform and first thing i'm going to just scale it down like so and i'm also going to push it up on the z axis and uh, let's uh, again split the view and take a look at the s render on the right side all right so just drag that like so and just place it anywhere that you want so i'm going to target this uh, area just poaching key and just scale it down position it on top and you can also rotate it i'm just going to create some sort of animation on this so let's just do that so i'm going to go to the very first frame and on the y i'm going to right click on it and click on expression and in here i'm going to type in time times four so it's going to uh, rotate continuously so let's just take a look at it let's move forward and you can see your star is star uh, shape is rotating continuously All right so you, you can also uh, go to your image plane and go to material and you can change the color of your star right over here like so and you can add all sorts of effects such as glows and all that stuff 
you can add more elements such as text and position it anywhere that you want but let's just keep it really simple for now what we can do is on renderer 3d we can go to renderer type and set this to OpenGL renderer and under accumulation effects we're going to enable it and uh, we are going to load down the depth of field blur something like that all right so then we can go to our camera 3d controls and we can change the focal plane all right so now we'll try and animate the focal plane so let's just do that so i'm going to start off with 0 0.2 and see where that takes me let's do 0 0.6 and uh, 8 i'm going to start with 0 0.5 i guess all right so we can start right there and we can just create a keyframe on the very first frame create a keyframe on focal plane and we can move to the very end and change the focal plane and try and focus on animation that is going on in the middle so i'm going to set this to 0 0.2 that didn't work let's try 0 0.4 and you can see that we get that uh, middle text in the focus all right so you have to go back and forth into your renderer 3d and camera 3d node and play around with the amount of blur and I'm going to set this to 0 0.003, go to camera 3D and again just change the focal plane and uh, see what works best for you. All right, so I think uh, that looks fine. So let's just scrub through and. All right, so you just have to keep playing with the focal plane. So at the very first frame, I'm going to, I need a little bit more of that depth of field blur. So I'm just going to change the focal plane and set this to, I guess, 0 0.3. You can see we get that cool blur going on and then we move forward in time and uh, we should see our target or the objective in the focus so if i go to the very end still not in the focus so let's just change the position over here and set this to some other value 0 0.4 looks fine and set this to 0 0.3 and yeah i think that looks fine and you can also go to your transform and change the y position to get your text or the shape into the focus but yeah that is just about it that's how you can create a cool 3d map animation inside of uh, davinci resolve i hope this video was helpful if you watched then please uh, make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one